Hello and uh, good morning, dear students. I am Professor Nilesh Kote, and I am going to teach you experimental techniques in physics one course. So this course is comparatively new for uh, your academia, and this course is very very easy. If you understand some basic techniques in physics, so here as name suggest experimental techniques so in etp first we are going to study vacuum techniques certain vacuum techniques so i am going to start second module which is vacuum physics so first part of vacuum physics i think you already have syllabus with you uh, now we are going to start module number 2 and this is the first lecture of module number 2 first point is importance and field applications of vacuum so i think this ppt is uh, quite invisible or there are certain certain problems in this ppt so i will share notes with you so you will get clear cut idea and all the words which are mentioned in this ppt so first of all importance and field applications of vacuum so first of all what is mean by vacuum so you already know vacuum means absence of air absence of air means if you go in space in space there is no air with uh, air is present in that region so that in, uh, we call term as vacuum so such vacuum we can create in our atmosphere also because <coughs> sorry in atmosphere we have lots of gases so if we remove those gases from certain region so we can create that vacuum in a space which is on the earth so for that purpose we need certain vacuum pumps and to measure vacuum we need vacuum gauges so vacuum and pressure are very closely related why because uh, as I told you, vacuum is absence of air. So, if you remove air, so pressure is going to decrease. So, high vacuum means low pressure. So, that is very important point to be noted here. Vacuum is absence of air and vacuum is closely related to pressure. So, if we go to lower and lower pressures, uh, pressure regions, so we are going to achieve higher and higher vacuum. So low pressure means high vacuum. Now certain applications or various fields in which this vacuum techniques is used for that I have this I have shared this chart. So here in this chart there are three major uh, I can say columns. First is one is physical situations, second one is objectives and third one is applications. So physical situations, there are three physical situations, low pressure, low molecular density and large mean free path. So, and one more is there, sorry, there are four physical situations, low pressure, low mole molecular density, large mean free path and long mon monolayer formation time. So those four regions and objectives. So objectives are for application purposes. So objectives are we can achieve pressure difference, remove active atmospheric constituents, remove occult or dissolved gases, decrease energy transfer. In case of large mean free path, we can avoid collisions and for long monolayer formation type, we can have clean surfaces. So these are the four major categories under which there are applications. So first one, if we look into physical situation which is low pressure and objective is achieve pressure difference, then applications. Applications are holding, holding, lifting, transport, pneumatic, cleaners, filtering, forming. Okay. So all those applications came under low pressure region. So lifting means you can have certain uh, lifts, vacuum lifts I can say. 
then if we go into next physical situation which is low molecular density in which we can bring an active atmospheric constituents so active atmospheric constituents means what active means the gases which can react with our uh, substances and by reacting that uh, by reacting uh, those that that can cause problems so applications are lamps so in household we can use lamps so in this lamp vacuum is achieved such lamps are incandescent fluorescent electric discharge tube uh, electric discharge tubes are widely used in our home then melting sintering packaging encapsulation and leak detection so leak detection is one of the major application because uh, these applications can be used in spacecraft and space technologies <coughs> very widely then in low molecular density we have another one application another one objective which include remove occult or dissolved gases so if we remove occult or dissolved gases applications are drying dehydration concentration freeze drying degassing lipo lipolization imprisonation then decrease energy transfer thermal insulation electrical insulation vacuum microbalance space simulations so all these applications came under decrease energy transfer then for large mean free path we can avoid collision objective of that and applications include electron tubes cathode ray tubes so cathode ray tubes are used in televisions so that we used earlier times so now nowadays we have led and lcd then television tubes photo cells photo multiplier tubes x ray tubes accelerators storage rings mass spectrometers isotope separators electron microscopes so electron microscope includes uh, tem transmission electron microscope and sem surface electron microscopes so whenever electron is came out of the surface of that element or certain we can say material so in that case that electron collide with the air which is present air molecules and loses its energy so that's why we need to remove that gas or air molecules from the atmosphere so in another in another words we can we must have vacuum uh, then electron beam welding heating coating and coating includes evaporation and sputtering molecular distillation so all those came under large mean free path category now last physical situation is long monolayer formation time and objective of that is clean surfaces so here clean means dust free surfaces uh, next applications of clean surfaces are fraction adhesion emission studies material testing for space technology so all the you can see there are various very very large number of fields industrial okay then academic then space technology then research all those uh, we can say various with large number of areas in which vacuum techniques can be used and knowledge of vacuum techniques is important now we are moving to next point of this chapter the next point is various ranges of vacuum so ranges of vacuum are distributed with respect to pressure so we know that unit of pressure m case unit is meter per second square so here we can use unit of pressure as a torque so in this chapter as we move along we can solve problems so in those problems uh, i will tell you how to convert that torque in the pressure or pressure into torque so torque is a unit of pressure so first one is low and medium vacuum there are three ranges low and medium vacuum second one is high vacuum and third one is ultra high vacuum 
So, first one is low and medium. So, in <coughs> low vacuum range, the number of molecules in a vacuum vessel in the gas phase are large compared to those covering surface of the vessel. So, it means the molecules which are on the surface of vessels are less compared to the molecules which are present in the inside the vessel. The pumping of space serves to remove molecules from the gas. Now, important thing about low and, and medium vacuum is that this vacuum range extends from atmosphere to 10 raise to minus 2 torr. So, 1 atmosphere to 10 raise to minus 2 torr is the range for low or medium vacuum. So, many industrial processes that need to outgas or dry material are you can use this uh, low or medium vacuum range. Another next here I have shown you Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of molecular energy levels. So, why I have shown you this? Uh, Maxwell Boltzmann distribution because in this Maxwell Boltzmann distribution you can see uh, if we have very large number of molecules then velocity of those molecules how that velocity of that molecules is distributed. So, if we reduce the number of molecules then distribution is same ok, but number is less. So, here important think about uh, Maxwell Boltzmann distribution, I have shown also some equations ok. Uh, for example, V peak, peak velocity which is 2 kT upon m, that k is Boltzmann constant, t is 10 to the power and m is mass. Then average velocity which is 1.12 times maximum velocity, root mean square velocity which is 1.225 times kT and mean energy which is 3 by 2 kT. So, why this is important because as the gases which are present in the vessel they obey Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. Then we are moving to next region which is high vacuum. So, high vacuum region in this region where gas molecules are located mainly on the surface of the enclosure ok. So, this is very important thing about this high vacuum and their mean free path equal to it, that mean free path equals or exceeds the dimensions of the vessel. So, how we can find out that mean free path? So, mean free path means what? So, mean free path means uh, we can make definitions that particle can travel in a vacuum enclosure without collision with each other. So, before colliding with each other as you know in a gas for case of gas molecules, gas molecules are colliding with each other continuously. So, if those gas molecules travel before two successive collision, okay, then distance travelled by them is mean free path. And remember number of gas molecules is very large. So, there are crores of crores we can say gas molecules which are present in the vessel. Then uh, important point about this, uh, the mean free path is equal or exceeds dimensions of vacuum vessel. So, if a vacuum vessel is having dimensions like uh, 5 centimeter diameter, the mean, mean free path is around 5 centimeter or larger than that. The particles in high vacuum, the particles travels in a vacuum enclosure without colliding with each other. So, that is due to that mean free path is larger. Thus, in this vacuum under this condition, pumping consists consist of evac evacuation or capturing molecules. Now, the molecules leaves the surface individually reach the pump. So, one more important point about high vacuum is that this region extends from, now see region, uh, what is the range? So, range is 10 raise to minus 3 to 10 raise to minus 7 torr. If pressure is between this range 10 raise to minus 3 to 10 raise to minus 7 torr, you can say you can achieve high vacuum. Then last section uh, of this region instead of section which is ultra high vacuum. So, ultra high vacuum in which 
time to form a monolayer is equal or larger than usual time for most laboratory measurements. So what is mean by monolayer? Monolayers means single layer of molecules. Time required to form single layer of molecules on the surface of container. So if that time is longer than usual time for most laboratory experiments, then in that case we can achieve ultra high vacuum. So the clean surfaces can be prepared and their properties determined before an absorbed gas layer is formed. This vacuum range extends from, now this is very important thing about this ultra high vacuum. What is the range of that ultra high vacuum range? So it is about 10 raised to minus 7 to 10 raised to minus 16 power. So remember here we have 10 raised to minus 16. And industrial and indication of extensive application of vacuum technology in many key industrial processes is a diverse range of industrial, which is illustrated in table 2. Table 